Hey everybody, I'm here again with my good friend and fellow barber John, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you using his thick head of curly hair how to pin apart for a detached haircut where all the length lives on top. So what I'm going to be using is our Samvia long cutting comb. Now the reason I'm choosing this comb for today is because it's got a nice wide side of teeth of course, but they're kind of medium wide, they're not extremely wide. It's going to give me just the right amount of control and tension when I'm creating this part. I'm also going to be using our Samvia dry cutting clips. This is a great technique to use with clips, and these clips are perfect for holding either dry or wet hair, but especially when I've got a lot of hair to hold, this is going to make sure that it's going to be held really tightly and really well. So what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, is I'm going to step in front of you and turn John around so that we can get a good view of what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is just like you're used to doing with a, a part or with a comb, I'm going to start to part the hair away from myself slightly. Now, pretending as though we haven't already set in a very strong part, we're actually going to just bump his part up just a teeny bit to show you what I'm talking about. Now, we all know that when we part a certain direction, it helps to really flow that hair in that direction before we part. But I found that if I'm really trying to cover a lot of area, it's easy to kind of start getting lost and maybe I get a few little bumps in that section. So what's different about this technique is once I find roughly the area I want to work in, I'm actually going to start to part the hair up away from myself, and I want to make sure that I'm starting below at least maybe a finger or a pinky's worth below where I want that part to live. I'm going to part that hair up and away from myself, and working in smaller sections with the notch, that parting notch of the comb, I'm going to come through, and I'm going to notch out just a little bit of that part at a time, then using the fine teeth of the comb to pin, and grabbing that dry cutting clip, and inserting that clip right there. Now what I'm going to do is keeping my finger right below the clip, I'm going to continue that part and very, very lightly pull that hair out, pin it with the comb, come right behind there, pull a little bit more down, and now using that comb again to pin, I'm going to grab one more clip, I'm going to insert that clip right underneath, and what that allows me to do is I've got a nice medium kind of tension for control, and I've got that nice little parting notch on the comb, so I can clean that up, and now I've exposed that area that I want to create my new part in, and that's not going to go anywhere. So using the comb, in addition with the clips, I've got a nice solid foundation now to come in either with a shear over comb technique, or maybe a clipper technique, clipper over comb, and I don't have to worry about this massive amount of hair falling constantly into the section that I'm working with. So this is just one way I like to use our dry section, or our dry cutting clips to create a nice strong shape so that I know that when I get to work with my shears and my combs, I've got nothing to worry about with this mass of hair living on top. And when I get done, I'm going to have a nice, strong, very structured shape that lives on top of that cut. So I want to thank you guys for watching our video. And if you'll do us a favor and share the video around and leave us any of your feedback in the box below, we'll keep on bringing this free education to you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Boyd with the Samvia Art Team.